Honey Island Bigfoot in Honey Island, uh, Swamp. Louisiana. Yeah, now this is a pretty. This is a, this is a great, great shot here. Great yeah, clear shot. Yeah, front view. At first, he's behind nice, some, some nice movement. Now, there's we had a we had a Yellowstone Bigfoot before. Ours was in um, Montana, and Yellowstone straddles I think three different states, but we had one that was technically in Montana. Now, there's a lot of Yellowstone news about the volcano, and they're saying how animals are leaving the area, but in it's particular, like, the bison. Are, are leaving the area. I saw a video, and it was a car driving, a, a, you know, I guess towards Yellowstone, and it was a bunch of buffalo, maybe thirty or so. It was like a, an endless, so it seemed like an endless parade of buffalo, kind moving of, out of the area. Yeah, just going past his car. I'm surprised they, that none of them tried to ram him, but they were going on the opposite side of, this, of a narrow street. He was going one way, they were coming the other way. Think about that. Think about Yellowstone. Think about what you see at Yellowstone. The geysers, you know, this hot. Boiling water, steam coming up from the from the bowels of the earth. I mean, this is the largest volcano on the planet. And some people are speculating that these animals have you know can predetermine or have some kind of feeling or sense that a uh, volcano is going to. It is well documented that animals react to these natural disasters way before humans do, and is and it happens in every instance. And you know a lot of these concerns. What happens to the animal? What happens to the people? Is a primarily primary concern. But then, what happens to the animals? What happens to the Bigfoot? You know, we had events like Mount St. Helen. How many Bigfoot died in that? And that's a big. Uh, well, you it, brought that up in, in previous episodes, and it's really it's a shame that no one's gone into that area and really tried to find out, locate, or document that. Yeah. Now they they'd have a better chance. Well, I was going to say they have a better chance of finding. Was it ten million dollar Bigfoot in that area? Um, yeah, they, actually, they they certainly were, and they were in the Mount St. Helen area. But the thing is, with a volcano like that, that would just decimate the the, the Bigfoot. I don't know how, if they'd even... Would it burn them? Well, it wouldn't char the bones. I, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, you'd think there'd be some bones, but but that's a vast area they'd have to, you know, search over. And, and, and there's I think there's, you know, there's growth that takes place over the years. Well, finding Bigfoot and $10 million Bigfoot can do multiple episodes in the area and locate those bones. So, you know, what, what's interesting in Yellowstone, we did episodes on Yellowstone, is that the Bigfoots did survive the wolves. We were concerned. They reintroduced wolves to the area, and Bigfoot survived now is he going to be able to survive a you know if if we you know with all the earthquakes happening in California if there's something that takes all the place. earthquakes happening on the Ring of Fire I mean down in South America there are warnings I mean they could happen at any time we've had down in Chile there's been a number of earthquakes there was a small tsunami we've had a few earthquakes here in uh, in California and they're waiting for the big one to hit yeah I want to talk about the next episode about. Uh, Bigfoot and vegetarianism. I'm hearing in the news that vegetarianism is actually unhealthy, some people are speculating on. And now, we've speculated on whether Bigfoot is a vegetarian or not. I say he's an omnivore. He could be primarily a vegetarian. In fact, he'd have to be adaptable. Well, correct me if I'm wrong, but there is a show on TV that says the only way you find Bigfoot is with bacon. Finding Bigfoot, that's right.